My name is Sieni. I just wanted to share my testimony or a bit of it with you this morning. I grew up in a Christian family and we religiously attended church sometimes four, sometimes five days a week. Despite the religiosity, I loved learning about God. It excited me to read the Bible for myself, to pray out loud in front of others, and to please my parents and everyone else's parents that were watching the Sunday school program. It contributed to a complex I had growing up where I compared myself to the prodigal son's older brother. My peers, they were the prodigal son, they strayed. But it wasn't the flex, it seemed. <laughs> Even then, in my naivety and foolish youthfulness, I was in need of a savior. I was in need of repentance. I was not a sinless older brother. I was a Pharisee with a heart of stone. My lack of outward and obvious rebelliousness did not cancel out the darkness that was in my heart or the sins committed behind closed doors, and it could never. By God's grace, I can return to him in repentance like the prodigal son did, and can be received by him with joy. The reality of Easter to me is that I do have a perfect and sinless older brother, and his name is Jesus Christ. He gave his life in exchange for mine, and it doesn't really completely make sense to me why God the Son would take on my sin and shame. I'm glad for the opportunity to be eternally grateful because he died the death that I should have died. And he has gifted me the life that I now live. Because he lives, I receive his gift of grace every single day and every single day I truly need it. It's the gift that he keeps giving. I reflect on the gospel and see how deep his faithfulness and kindness reaches that it was only by his grace that I didn't have to explore the depths of the depravity that my heart had, has. I can trust fully in his sacrifice because it is more than enough for me, for you, and even for my children who I pray will know the goodness of the gospel for themselves. I'll finish with a verse from Galatians. It says, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Thank you.